Hi guys, this is Dr. Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham Hair Transplant Surgery, um, making another one of these hair transplant frequently asked question videos. Uh, again, today we're going to focus on a follicular unit extraction or FUE question. Um, and the question is, uh, what is a long hair FUE? Um, and the long hair FUE approach is kind of what it sounds like. Um, essentially, it is uh, FUE that's done without shaving the, um, the donor area. So generally in an FUE procedure, what you do is you shave down the entire donor area in order to uh, clear the field and extract the, the grafts. In a um, long-haired FUE approach, you just wouldn't do that. Um, you would maybe trim, depending on the length of the patient's hair, you would trim it down to where it's maybe an inch, uh, inch and a half even in some cases long, and uh, just extract the grafts that way with the hair left long. Um, the, the pros of this technique is uh, it, it gives patients an idea of um, what the results are going to look like when it's fully grown out, um, assuming that you have good growth yield. Um, and number two is it, it kind of camouflages the fact that you had surgery. You know, um, the grafts generally will be in the donor, excuse me, in the recipient region um, for anywhere from you know a, a week up to two months before they actually shed. So some patients would prefer. Um, to have those hairs a little longer, especially if they have some existing hair in the um, recipient region, and especially if it's combined with what we talked about in the last video, a hidden FUE approach. Um, so what are the, the cons of this procedure? Um, one of the, the, probably the only and the most significant one for me is the fact that it will um, definitely make graft extraction more difficult. Um, you know, extracting FUE grafts is a, a, a difficult task uh, in and of itself, um, especially if the grafts are extracted uh, via manual approach, which is, is what um, I always advocate for, uh, what we prefer to use and what we do use. Um, but if, if you leave those the hairs, um, you know, an inch, inch and a half, uh, opposed to just a few centimeters, which is how we normally shave them down, it's just much more difficult to see what you're doing, uh, much more difficult to properly angle the punch. Um, and you know, it's, it's just going to make the, um, the extraction process a little bit more variable. Um, and a little less certain. And like I said in the last video, um, you know, transection rates with FUE are always an issue and growth yield in general just because of the, the stress and strain placed on the grafts with FUE is always going to be less than strip. Um, so you know, adding on this whole other variable that could really compromise the results um, is questionable. Um, and it's, it's actually even more questionable, in my opinion, because you know the only real benefit to doing this is that you would get to see kind of a, a sneak peek of what the results um, could look like when they're fully grown. Um, but then again, if you take this approach and you really compromise your yield, um, then that's not what the results are going to look like regardless because you're going to have a, a smaller percent of the grass grow. Um, so, you know, that's the long hair uh, FUE approach, just leaving the hair in the donor region longer and uh, implanting it longer as well. All right, thanks, guys.